The system that the city, the county's been on is over 20 to 30 years old. It's a VHF legacy system. It's been upgraded over the years, but it's to the point where upgrading is just not sufficient with the issues of radio interference and, and radio coverage in this community. It's just not working very well. Elected officials invested in a new state-of-the-art P25 system, which is gonna be way more efficient, more accessible to the first responders, and it's state-of-the-art so that it's digital versus analog, which means it's encrypted, uh, it's, it's better coverage, and it's IP-based so that the coverage is more efficient and it's going to benefit the first responder. You know, one of the biggest advantages that we've always in the past had trouble communicating with, with dispatch or sometimes even unit to unit, you know, from a different scene to another location. Uh, with this new system, you know, we'll going to have 90 plus percent better coverage on outdoors, which will be huge, you know, in, in emergency situations. So now if we ever have a large incident out, uh, say uh, we have a strong storm system move through, we have multiple trees down, we'll be able to assign each volunteer station their own channel so they can talk uh, to each other and not interfere with the next, you know, the next uh, incident that's coming in. They can handle that with their channel and then this station can have their own channel. So that will be huge, you know, we won't be talking over each other on the radio. The city is currently on a digital P25 system. The county is marrying up to their system, so it's going to be a joint P25 infrastructure system so that it's seamless for dispatch to be able to communicate with all first responders on the same type of system. You know, we respond with the city at times, they respond with us, and now we're now we pack two radios, you know, one with their system and one with our system. We'll be able to go with one radio uh, and communicate back and forth, which will be more efficient as well. So the corporate headquarters of Motorola, we responded last week to do a sign off on the infrastructure part of the system. So the actual infrastructure was staged and operational and we could see it uh, functioning. But that being said, we taxed the system by doing some mock emergency failures so that we could see what would happen. So we did a complete power failure. We did some independent failures of some independent equipment uh, at each tower and it functioned as designed. So we're looking forward to that being installed in the next year. So we're anticipating that infrastructure being installed mid to late summer and going online around November of 2021.